Hey guys, Brett here for Topo Ranger, and welcome to another episode. I hope everybody out there is doing great. It's the, uh, it's the end of February, and it seems like the weather might be kind of getting a little, a little nicer. Um, it's going to be in the mid-50s today. Still a lot of snow on the ground from the recent storms we've had. We had quite a few here in Pennsylvania this year, uh, over the last couple months. Uh, as you can see, I'm standing next to a giant blue piece of metal. Um, today I'm back at Whistler Run Park in Lancaster County, not far from the Muddy Creek uh, Reservoir, uh, not far from the, the tunnels and the, um, the valley that we went down in uh, the episode Muddy Run Fun. And uh, today I think what I'm going to do is I want to um, actually hike up Whistler Run well, we didn't do that last time because I think there's going to be some nice waterfalls not too far up the valley. Um, maybe check out that tunnel a little bit more. I got the hyperlight today, so we'll be able to light it up a little bit better. I don't know if I can go in that tunnel because uh, it gets pretty deep pretty fast. I'm anticipating there's going to be quite a bit of flow today because everything's melting. Uh, but I wanted to start out this episode by showing you this big blue piece of metal here. What this is, this is uh, an example of one of the turbines that are over here in the Muddy Run pump storage facility. Uh, as you know from previous episodes, if you've watched them, uh, Muddy Run Fun and uh, the, the one where I went down there to the tunnel and also to Hawk Rock. And we peeked inside the Whistler Runs flooded tunnel. I'll put links up to those as I talk about them. I got some, some good vulture, vulture action going on here today. Uh, up there is Muddy Run Reservoir. The, uh, in the canal, which is the area where there's four 25 foot diameter concrete pipes that descend straight down vertically 343 feet to be exact I think and then they hit uh, a level right about level with this a little bit inland they come down and then uh, at a point under here somewhere they split from four into eight 14 foot diameter steel tunnels and those steel tunnels then kind of angle down into the underground part of the pump storage turbine power generation plant. And what those 14 foot steel tunnels feed into are eight of these, which are these big uh, steel turbines. And you see the water goes in there and turns them around and that generates the electricity and then my understanding is that those turbines, these turbines are about 80 feet below the actual level of where we're standing right now. They're up there though. And the water goes through the turbines, generates the power and then is uh, spit out underneath the river level. And then it wells up and it just joins the, uh, the general flow of the creek. So that's what I wanted to point out. I didn't get a chance to do that in previous episodes for various reasons. Right there's the tunnel that leads to Whistler Run. And that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna go over here. We're gonna see if we can find those waterfalls, uh, which we're gonna be definitely gonna be able to do. And then after that, I'm not sure what we're gonna do, but uh, we're gonna probably check out another one or two other interesting things here. Uh, that I wanted to show you that I didn't get a chance to do last time. So let's get started and let's go have some fun. All right, here we get a slightly different angle on the, uh, where the water resurges from the flooded muddy run tunnel. And that's it right there. And you can see there's a little 
little bowl shaped depression there's a keystone and it looks to me like there probably is about a foot or two of clearance that heads under that track there and as you can see it's a quite a bit of water coming out there today we got these really interesting rocky islands here a couple of geese there So this is Whistler Run right here. And right here is a spot. As you can see, they have it all cemented in here. Or sorry, concrete. Guy up in a truck. I don't know what he's doing up there. He's got a cherry picker. These big pipes here, I don't know what these are for. Uh, Whistler Run heads down into the tunnel. So we're gonna head up here, up with the run to the waterfalls. Came across this nice piece of marble. Looks like white marble. Uh, and on the bottom, as you can see here, it's got some got some impurities in it right there. That's in the rock. And you can see it also has a nice, it's got some pink in it too. You see that pink right there? That's in the rock. That's not, that's not something on the surface. That's embedded in the rock. And here you can see they have, uh, they've reinforced the, uh, the side of the, this is the creek bank here with uh, fill, looks like schist and limestone with a, a fence-like thing. That probably helps the, uh, the stream from undercutting this side of the stream uh, and thus undermining the road. All right, we've got some kind of structure here, an old structure. Uh, not sure what this is. Nice construction though. And here's actually a piece of the there's some left. This is just sh sheet metal. And under here, it's basically just like a little square. I'm not sure what this is. It could have been an old spring house or a spring, something to cover a spring or something associated with the, uh, there was an old water pipe back in the, uh, back in the uh, creek there. It kind of came up to the surface running up that way. So maybe this is uh might be related to that. Keep working our way upstream. All right, so we're at the base of these waterfalls that you can kind of see from the road. Uh, you can't see it very well, but it, it drops. Uh, it gets really steep here for a section. You can kind of tell there's going to be something and uh, kind of get a little bit of a peek from it, but it's right up there. And there's probably going to be one, two, maybe three different falls. One, and then the big one, I think it's going to be right up there. And beyond that, I, I, I'm not sure there might be more stuff over there. Uh, it's a typical stream valley for this area. Steep, schist walls, boom, come right down to a nice creek creek just carrying this stuff downstream
with that truck. Got some more of this, some more of this pink marble. A huge chunk right here. That's that white marble. It's got a little grime on it. All right, so I tried to get up here, and you can't climb right up in there, but I got all my stuff on my back, and it's pretty slippery. Uh, the rocks are pretty slippery, so instead of potentially falling, I decided to, uh, I hopped across these rocks, came up here. I'm gonna switch, I'm gonna put my helmet on in case I fall. I'm gonna switch to POV, and then we're gonna climb. Uh, we try to follow this line, we can get up there over there or maybe actually i think we might just go up that way uh see if we can't get a better view from the top of the falls Nice pool here, look at that. Oh wow.
Ah, bah ouais. Hein More marble. That's cool. Nice, nice series of falls there. Uh, some nice sculpted rocks. Uh, it's a nice sized stream coming down here. Uh, a lot of meltwater now, of course. Uh, during the summer, like in August, I don't know if there would be as much water, uh, but this is a good time to come up here. Um, what I'm gonna do now is, uh, I still wanna get back to the Whistler Run Park because I, <clears throat> I wanna check out a few things down there. So I'm gonna stop going upstream from here there certainly might be more, uh, more waterfalls up there. This set right here that I just did, this is what I could see from the road. You can see the road is right there. And uh, as you can see, the, there's some really sketchy shoring to shore up the road up there. It's like wood. So I don't know. I think that would be better if there's some concrete. It's just around this bend. We, you should have seen it on the way up. So I'm gonna take my time. I'm gonna go back down. I'm gonna take stills along the way because I wasn't taking any pictures on the way up here. Uh, and I wanna use, uh, use my tripod, get some stills uh, for scale and stuff like that. And I will pick it up when we get back down to Whistler Run Park. All right. Well, I made it back down Whistler Run and I spent quite a bit of time in uh, the tunnel there. I made it the whole way back to where it meets the older tunnel, the one that you see on the, uh, the one you see down by the river that the water gushes out of. Um, kind of a creepy place, but I got tons of pictures. However, I spent most of my time. Um, so I'm gonna save that. I'm gonna go in that tunnel. Now I know what it's like. I know I can get back there uh, safely. Uh, it's not too deep. Um, I will, uh, We'll do that. We'll, we'll tag that onto another episode. Uh, there's islands. There's a lot of really interesting islands right out here off Whistler Run Park. Big cliffs. Uh, uh, all kinds of interesting stuff. There's some cabins out there. I want to come down here once the weather gets warmer and kayak out to those islands. And I think you know we'll we'll tag that Whistler Run uh, tunnel onto uh, onto onto that video. I think uh, it's it's an interesting tunnel. I just don't have the time for it right now. And I just want to make this kind of a, kind of just a waterfall video. Um, right now I'm actually inside that blue turbine, as you can see, uh, this, the water would flow in right where I am and push this thing around and around and around. Uh, the inside of this is starting to flake off here, but, uh, I mean, this thing is just massive. You got to wonder how much, how much these things weigh and you can kind of come in here. Oh, wow. I'll say, I didn't know this was hollow in here. Look at this. Uh, I guess this is where it would attach right here. I wonder if this is an old one. This might be an old one. Oh, this is really cool. See, now I got to get some pictures of this too. I need to stand up right here. Uh, and you can kind of pan around. All right. Come back down. And uh, each, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, six different, uh, six different places where the water would come in. I don't know what those are called, but this is pretty cool. If you ever have a, uh, if you ever, if you ever come down to this park uh, with kids, kids will love this. You just step up on these I-beams here they put them on I-beams, you can see them behind me there. They uh, just step up on the I-beams, you can crawl right in. You can push your kid in front of you <laughs> if they're not scared, but there's this little, this cool little hide, hiding place in here where the light, where the light comes in. And uh, 
I didn't realize it was the lake that's on the inside. I think that's, no, that's not where it came in. There's a train track. So anyway, um, if you like my videos, make sure you uh, hit the subscribe button and uh, ring the bell for notifications so you get uh, notified when I put up new videos. Um, as always, I really like making these videos and I love having you guys come along with me. Uh, waterfalls up there on Whistler Run did not disappoint. There were, the main chunk of it was five, one, two, three, four, five, five nice falls, plunge pools, potholes, you know, nice stuff. Um, it seems like all of these hollows up and down, uh, up and down the, uh, uh, particularly the Lancaster side of the river, they're just, they're just beautiful waterfalls, um, all kinds of stuff. Uh, when the weather's warm, definitely, you could definitely come here, park here, far end of the parking lot and just hike up the stream. It, I mean, if you're just hiking, you're not, you know, you're not screwing around like I do, uh, taking pictures and looking at everything and, you know, crawling around. I mean, literally take you about 10 minutes to get up to where the waterfalls are. Uh, and in the hot August swamp weather, <laughs> uh, it would be a really nice, cool place to hang out. And the thing is, you're right next to the road. You're pretty much right next to that road, but I don't think this road sees much traffic. So if you're there in summer, it's not going to be like a bunch of cars going by. Uh, a UPS truck went by when I um, when I was there, and also that big truck with the cherry picker on it. Um, and uh, you know I couldn't really hear it, and the, this, the noise of the waterfalls kind of drowns out any car. So even though you're close to a road, you know it's not really going to be like oh I'm close to a road, you know. And so it really would be a beautiful place. And come check out this turbine. And next time, like I said, uh, next time we're here, uh, I think I'm gonna, uh, there's two things we can do. We can go out to those islands and hit up Whistler uh, Run Tunnel, or we can hit up Whistler Run Tunnel and then go up to a muddy run and check out those big uh, sh uh, schist tower formations that are look, uh, look very cool. All right, so uh, this is Brett for Topo Ranger, signing out.